shit. You know what they call me? They call me the fuck up crazy motherfucker. Ooh, 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 ooh. Easy, easy. Ooh. What's up, everyone? It's me, Ask Gateway Vex. And you're watching my show. Crap. Well, he said dyke. Uh, and, yeah. So, today, I'm dedicating this episode to one of my viewers. Her name is Karen, and it is also her 21st birthday. So, I'm dedicating this episode to her. And, and also answering her question. So, crap, turn on, come on, here we go. Yeah, bitch, I made it, that's what I said, bitch, I made it, yeah, bitch, I made it. Sit back and hate it, bitch, I made it. Yeah, bitch, I made it. Fulfilling all? No. See, people, a lot of people tend to forget what... A lot of people um, in a relationship tend to forget that, you know, not every sexual fantasy or desire has to be fulfilled. I swear I'm it. But, where was I? Oh, right. Not every, not all sexual desires have to be fulfilled. You know? People, in a, really, in a serious relationship, there's love, trust, honesty, respect and loyalty, you know, if your partner is already fulfilling, you know, a couple sexual desires already, then why fulfill the rest, I mean, like, if it, if it involves, like, um, with other people, you know, like, like I mentioned in the other one, you know, like, you're, it, dog, it, But, I'm gonna go nuts. That dog doesn't shut up. Oh. Excuse me. no place anywhere in the house that is quiet enough for the barking dog but apparently the dog is shut up so we can start <sighs> so what was I saying uh, I was saying well, where was I well great I forgot where I was just to look for a fucking quiet place Great. All right. But to fulfill every sexual desires, all your sexual desires, no. In a lot of couples, a lot of people in relationship forget, you know, about what I mentioned earlier. And like sex isn't always important. Sexual desires isn't all Fulfilling sexual desires in a relationship isn't always important. Actually, it isn't important in a relationship. It's love and respect. You know, you can't you can't ex you can't be um pushing your 
the person you claim to love to do certain things you're not comfortable with doing or you don't want to do, you know? Um, I know you mentioned in your um, email, Karen, that um, you... Um, that you feel you're obligated... I'm just going to ignore the dog. That you feel obligated to do it. You shouldn't. You know. You know, talk... You should talk to your partner. And, you know, really talk to, to your partners. If... Because everybody has a different view of what they see in a serious relationship. You did not mention how long you've been in this relationship. So, you know, some people mistaken a serious relationship for, um, they've been together for three months or five months or a year or something like that, you know. But don't mistake that for that. It's, you know, there's there's got to be like chemistry. There's always like some kind of chemistry. You know, not just sexually, you know, it's the feeling, you know, just that feeling. I, I don't know how to describe it. I really don't, you know. Um, to, it's just that feeling, you know, you have when you're with the person, you know, with the person who's your partner or, you know, just a friend. But wait, no, we're not talking about friends. We're talking about relationships. So it's just that feeling. There's got to be chem some kind of chemistry. Ew, get away, get away. And not just sexually. If you, if you or your partner is already f fulfilling, um, you know, certain sexual desires, something you've never had before with your other with your past relationships, or, gosh darn it, it's freaking hot. Because I turned off the fan. You know, that should be good enough, you know. Do not, mis do not, do not put sexual desires over love, over the chemistry you have. Otherwise, you will lose it. You will lose that partner. The one that you love so much. You will... If you... If you or that person really loves you... That much... Does not want to lose you to anything... Talk to them. You know? Like... Make sure that that person understands. You know? Like, what's more important? Your sexual desires? Or you? So, don't make sure that that a lot of people get that confused with a lot of things, you know. Yes, sex and you know, sex. There's got to be sex in the relationship, but it it doesn't have to be every fucking time. You know what I mean? Like. If you guys are already having fun with each other without the sex, you know, that's that's great too, you know. It's, I mean, shit. It's not like you can do it everywhere. But then you could. If you're not afraid of, you know, doing it in a public area in hopes you don't get caught. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, so just so that that's for you and to all the other viewers, you know, don't put your sexual needs, your sexual desires, your sexual fantasies above your relationship because that person that you really, really love, that you say you really, really love and you don't want to ever lose, you will lose them. Next, and your next question. Sit back and hate it, bitch, I made it. Yeah, bitch, I made it.
That's what I said, bitch, I made it. Yeah, bitch, I made it. Sit back and hate it. I'll keep you. Ah, one of those kind of people, huh? Yeah. Why bitch slap him? You know? Backhand him. Oh, wait, that's bitch slapping. Why don't you know? I don't know. You know? Bilk him? You know? Choke him? <clears throat> I just want to frickin' strangle him. <clears throat> well. <laughs> I'm not going to say there's nothing you can really do about that because those arrogant, egotistical idiots are just going to be like that. But they can change by, you know, when you open your mouth and actually say something besides um, using your hands to strangle them and, uh, you know, slap them around, uh, use a belt to smack them on the ass, you know, bend them over your knee and say, shut the fuck up, you son of a bitch. You know, that kind of stuff. You know, it's like, you don't know everything. <laughs> oh, I hate those kind of people. <sighs> well, I don't know what your brother, if your brother corrects her or anything, or if, if like, she tries to tell, you know, if your brother doesn't correct her, you know, and just makes her look even more stupid. And that's even even more funnier. But, you know, if you don't want to get involved so there wouldn't be any drama, tell your brother, if he's not saying a thing, to open his fucking mouth and tell her to shut the fuck up because you don't know everything, bitch. Because, you know, all in life is about learning. This is my theory. To me, in life, you're learning. All in life is learning. You know, even if you grow old, old to be a hundred million years old, which that won't happen, you know, you're still learning something. I mean, even the wisest person in the world, whatever they're called, is still learning something. Please, if you, if you, if, I can think of a question to ask that, that wisest person in the world, and he won't even know what to say. Shut the fuck up, dog. So, um, you know, just to avoid trauma, have your brother say something, you know, so she shut the fuck up, you know, or you can just say something if you don't. Yeah, tell him, tell him, if he don't say something, you will say something. Because you're just getting sick and tired of her arrogant... You know what I mean? So, yeah. And... Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, no fighting on your birthday. Happy birthday, Karen. You know what else? I don't give a 